airiness, crispiness. I keep saying crispy, like it's like chicken tenders. Wear your white t-shirt or you can, t-shirt, t-shirt. We're all about layers, people, all about layers. Today I'll be sharing with you my mini spring capsule wardrobe with 10 essential wardrobe staples that I find myself reaching towards the most often during the springtime. So these are the 10 items that are gonna act as a strong base for that transition into spring, and they're gonna transcend other seasons as well. Now, of course, there are other items that you can incorporate into your spring capsule wardrobe that I don't have here but I did make a 25 item spring capsule wardrobe guide that is gonna be linked in the description. It has all of the items that I recommend for a spring capsule wardrobe, as well as a ton of outfit ideas. Like when I tell you a ton, I was not messing around. You will never run out of outfit ideas during the spring with this guide. And I know it'll save you a ton of time this spring when it comes to picking out outfits. So definitely get your hands on it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me show you guys what I got for this mini spring capsule wardrobe. So the first item that we have here is just a plain white t-shirt. Now, this is something that is gonna serve you all year round, even in the winter, if you know how to layer correctly. But in the spring, it's a really good base layer. I think that a white t-shirt is just an overall capsule wardrobe staple. Everybody needs one. I do have a video on 10 outfit ideas for white t-shirts. If you wanna check it out, I will link it above here. This is the item in my wardrobe that I'm probably reaching for the most often at this very moment. And why I think it serves so well in spring is because it's light, it's airy, it's crisp, and it's one of the items that is really going to bring the entire outfit together, whereas without it, what would we do? It's the perfect spring capsule wardrobe base layering piece and you know not much to say about it i'm sure you already have one of these in your wardrobe so definitely put her to use this spring and you won't regret it next up we have a striped button up now i don't think you need a striped one i think you can do any type of button up something that is plain white or a blue or a striped or whatever you want to do i think any type of neutral-esque classic color is going to serve you well i just love this button up i was gifted it from packed and i've worn it so many times since i got it it's of course a very neutral very muted tone but the stripes add a little bit of dimension to your look so this is also another good item that can be layered underneath something above something it can be tied and tucked and just styled in so many different ways that if you don't have a button up in your wardrobe like trust me you need one so if you want to play it the most safe that you can i would recommend getting a white button up but if you want to do something a little bit different i would do either stripes um, you could do black and white a classic blue color is always a great option as well and definitely don't underestimate this style throughout your entire yearly wardrobe as well it's one of the most magnificent pieces and when it comes to material i don't think you can go wrong with just a breathable 100 percent cotton like this um or you can do a linen but something that is lightweight and breathable so you can work with whatever elements are happening outside Next, we have just a beige cardigan. This is also from Pact. I feel like the days can sometimes be so unpredictable during the spring. It definitely depends on where you're from, where you live, but this is a really good element for a day that is maybe a little bit chillier than you were expecting, but still warm enough where you can just throw this on over your white t-shirt or you can, t-shirt, t-shirt. You can wear this even on its own. There are so many options for just a plain cardigan. This is also a piece that you can put over your shoulders or you can tie in that little diagonal knot that I see a lot of people doing now, which I think is super, super cute and it adds a little bit more shape to your outfit. This is also 100% cotton. So again, it is lightweight, it's breathable, but it will keep you warm on a little bit of chillier days that happen in the spring. So. Do with it as you will, but definitely one that you can't go wrong. Okay, let's move on to pants. We're first gonna start with a beige trouser. Now, I do think that you can get any type of color you want in your trouser, but I like a beige or even a white for that matter, just because spring, I feel like it's a rejuvenation season. It's rebirth 
it's this has nothing to do with trousers but it's it's a lighter color we're stepping out of the darkness of winter i just find that a lighter color is a little bit more fitting for the transitional months the only type of fabric i probably would avoid for your trousers in the springtime is anything with wool or a wool blend i just think it might get a little toasty depending on the weather these are polyester like it's fine it does the job they're also so flowy so lots of airflow can get in and you know make me feel cool i also think a linen would look really nice i also have a linen pair of trousers that might be a little bit better for people who are in warmer climates during the springtime just because linen again is a very lightweight a very cooling type of fabric but anything that is drapey flowy whatever light in color light in fabric you get what i'm saying i just don't think you can go wrong with any type of lighter color pair of trousers now of course we got to talk about some jeans i love jeans in the springtime i'm not really sure why i guess i just love seeing how people style jeans when we're all like crawling out of the cave of winter i think people just do such a great job at balancing jeans with other spring type of elements so you likely already have a pair of jeans in your wardrobe that will work well i personally prefer a nice medium wash during pretty much all the time i'm not a big light wash person and i think i only have one pair of dark wash so any type of medium wash is going to look really nice but there's not too much to say about a pair of jeans something that is comfortable something that again is medium wash if that's what you prefer and of course, I'm always going to recommend Levi's because they're my brand. And with all these categories, I of course expand on them in my spring capsule wardrobe guide. So again, if you want to see more, link is in the description. Okay, I feel like this just screams spring. Any type of midi skirt is a great idea for spring. This is a washable silk midi skirt that I was gifted from Quince. I think that a midi skirt is a really great way to add a little bit of movement to your look, especially one of this nature. And similar to the trousers, a lighter wash or lighter color midi skirt is just going to blend a little bit better with the airiness, crispiness. I keep saying crispy, like it's like chicken tenders. It's like the crispiness of spring. It just sets the right tone as we move into spring and into summer. I just think it does a great job of being a beautiful item in my wardrobe. <laughs> also, I love this skirt because it is not see-through. Nobody likes a see-through skirt. All right, one more product from Quince that is silk, of course, washable silk, very convenient and easy. <laughs> this is a silk midi dress. I love it because I can wear a bra with it, no problem, like my straps won't show or anything. And this is a little dark. For spring but I do think that it makes for a good contrast when paired with something like this beige cardigan or like the button-up or like anything for that matter and I love a brown you guys know I love a brown it can also be brightened up with you know of course the items on here but some lighter accessories as well so I am really excited to wear this same with a midi skirt I don't think you can go wrong with a midi dress I love it and I'm super excited to put it to use a little bit more now we're gonna move on to some heavier layering items or outerwear I guess you could say these pieces are gonna be best for the earlier spring days when the weather hasn't completely transitioned yet or it's gonna be good for anybody who lives in more of a unpredictable weather area I very much understand the struggle so first up we have a blazer now of course this isn't like a coat or anything for that matter i'll talk about that in a second but this is a really nice layering option for a touch more warmth and you can transition your winter blazer if it's a wool blend or anything for that matter and it'll act as a really nice structured element in your spring wardrobe that is generally flowy and lightweight and you know breathable and all this stuff i think that a blazer is just going to add a little bit more structure another darker element to help balance all the lighter colors that we have here so i think that is definitely one of the keys to a spring capsule wardrobe is the balance of the different tones now again we do focus a lot on lighter colors here and i think that's just because we're all excited when spring comes and it is moving away from the dreariness of winter, but 
I personally love a darker accessory or coat or anything for that matter because I feel like it balances lighter neutrals better. That is just my opinion. But when it comes to blazers, any type of color will work. I think a, a beige would of course work. Or if you have a plaid blazer, that would also be really nice to add a little bit of a it's not a texture per se, but it looks like a texture. Second to last, we have a leather coat. It is a trench leather coat. So if you have more of a moto style, I think that would also serve really well. The one thing that I don't have in my wardrobe on this rack or in my closet is just a regular trench coat, which I know is a core staple item for spring and i do include it in my spring capsule wardrobe guide i don't care to go buy a trench coat right now i think that it's just not like the next thing that i want to add to my wardrobe and i'm kind of trying not to over consume too much so if i don't feel like it's gonna serve me at the max potential i'm just gonna hold off and Maybe one will just fall in my lap and then I'll wear it. But anyways, a leather trench, a leather jacket, and another really good layering element. We're all about layers, people, all about layers. Lastly, we're gonna talk about shoes. I have one pair here that is a part of my mini spring capsule wardrobe, of course, in the guide. There are a couple of other styles that I would recommend, but for shoes for this mini capsule wardrobe, I just recommend pair of white sneakers or any sneakers for that matter I don't think they need to be white I understand some people don't like white sneakers like it's totally fine I've always been a white sneaker person and I feel like I take fairly good care of them so they stay relatively white but similar to the aesthetic I guess you could call it of the lighter neutrals here a white sneaker is definitely going to act as a really good balancing item for many of the pieces that you see on this rack. I think that a white sneaker looks good with a midi dress. I think it looks good with a skirt. Of course, it looks good with the pants. All to say that if sneakers were to fall into any season primarily, I do think it would be spring. I think winter is more like boots. I think fall is more boots as well. And then summer's like sandals. So white sneakers, can't go wrong. All right, you guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed my mini spring capsule wardrobe walkthrough. I hope it was able to give you some inspiration on what to add to your wardrobe or maybe just validate the stuff that you already have in your wardrobe. Leave a comment down below which item was your favorite or let me know which item is the quintessential piece in your spring capsule wardrobe. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so appreciative of your support as always, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.